a matter of Ghana now becoming an, an athletics, athletics country. Nation. Ghana has always had talents in athletics. There were a few things we were not doing right as a mm. nation to mm. ensure that we put these burden talents in athletics up at a higher level. Perhaps things are beginning to change now. Now, Ghanaians are beginning to experience a bit of the potential that Ghanaians, yeah. Ghanaians have got in athletics. I don't know what, if it's a case of the GAA now sitting mm -hmm. up and getting to do things right and pushing these athletes out there. Youth athletics, it is something that Ghana is, I'm sure, next to Nigeria in Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we can get our acts together really in Africa, athletics, I mean, I only see Nigeria, especially in the sprints, as the only nation that clearly will beat Ghana to it in the sprints in athletics. Mm -hmm. If as a nation and the GAA, that as a federation, if they can put their acts together, together, Ghana will always compete and do well in athletics, in athletics at the international stage. Talent has never been in doubt in this country in mm -hmm. athletics. And, and at that level of the youth, that, they're picking clearly from the senior high schools. It's in abundance. Central region mm -hmm. is in abundance. Same for Ashanti region. If you go to these two regions, mm -hmm. it's something I can always vouch for. Athletics at a senior high school level in Central and Ashanti is big time. Big time. And the team that went to Abidjan, 80% of them, <laughs> not Kumasi, 80% okay. of the, them you saw in Abidjan mm -hmm. were from the two regions, yeah. Ashanti and then Central Region. Central Region. Because the school sports in those yeah. two regions is yeah. so top notch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so I GAA, think they take that extracurriculum activity take seriously. Take it serious. Seriously. The, the regional school of sports academics. federation mm -hmm. in those two regions don't play with their sports. Yeah. I don't know how, but that's what it is. Over the years, Central Region. If, if for those who school in Central, they will tell you. So. For the senior high school in Central Region, for the boys' schools, whether it's, uh, you know, Fasipim, Augustans, Adisadel, it is big time. Mm -hmm. Even for the girls. Talk to Nadi, they will tell you. It yeah. is big time for the girls' schools as well. So, uh, man's side, that's uh, Fancy Man Fancy. Girls. Eh? Mm -hmm. and Fancy Man Girls, uh, I mean, the other girls' schools help me with, like, Wesley Girls. Wesley Wigehe. And then, <laughs> you know, the other, the other female school, you know, they, no, 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 Roses, Roses, Eastern region. Yeah, Eastern region. But they take it seriously in Central Region. Same for Ashanti. Mm -hmm. So for the girls and the boys who went to Cote d'Ivoire for the mm -hmm. youth I mean, athletics championship, most of them came from there. And no wonder they went out there and made Ghana proud with winning 19 medals, medals. In total mm. for Ghana the game. So it's only a statement mm -hmm. to the GAA that if they can from henceforth with now we now have got the the athletics oval at Legon, two wonderful ovals at Legon. Legon, yeah. We've got one at Kiel University, mm -hmm. one at also uh, Baba Yara, Boyo. which has been refurbished, new yeah. tracks refurbished Tatan for track. them as well to use. And number also around we're told if even about Teman. So the GAA now, like we told or we telling the minister, yeah. they have no excuse now than to begin to now take advantage of these facilities and then tap into the talent we have at a senior high school level so Ghana can now become a regular competitor mm -hmm. at a top level or high level in athletics. We can't always just wait on, uh, wait on the likes of Joe Paul, Joe Paul Benjamin um, Azamati, Azamati mm -hmm. Kadman, Yemua, mm -hmm. Yamua, yeah. and a few of those who are based in the States. To just come and build Ghana out. When I've got all these sorts of athletes, I mean talents, mm, in Ghana, talents, yeah, in Ghana. that we can invest let's, more yes, in them and then let's make them. Let's the GA begin exactly. to think outside the box and find a, a means where we can begin to organize regular championships in Ghana for these youngsters to come competing, mm -hmm. so they can they can improve and can then rep Ghana at a top level. They have no excuse now. True. Governments over the years are always available. It's about the federations being creative enough mm -hmm. to come up with ideas. Mm -hmm. You go consult the sports ministry. They are open. True. They are open to listen to your, your proposals, to support you in that regard. But if you are not going forward... If you are forward, not going and you are sitting comfortably in your, in your in offices... Your offices looking, waiting for Commonwealth yes, Games, waiting for excuses. all these African... Yeah. With excuses. True. Just excuses that money no day. Money will never be available. <laughs> no. It is, you must come up with a proposal yeah. or a, an idea or a plan. Then you can go sit with the sports ministry, convince them to buy into your plan as, as a federation. Yeah. And you can get funding to support your, 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 your activities. You. And push you. So the GAA, enough of the excuses. Mm -hmm. Our good friends that I love athletics. I, mean, I love the guys who are in there. Look at how impressive this thing. Yes. 19 medals. Yes. I think 
having 12 gold medals and then we have five bronze These and two U20. no five silver yes. and then two bronze u20s u20 u18s U20, U18. they are close to it so if you can have help it. them harness and push them a bit they can get beyond this replacements for all the other ones that we have at the level we need to do much more better for athletics in Ghana, which is what we are doing currently. So, yes, this is what we can do as a nation. Let's improve on that.